Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Agent Psycho, and we are back for, I want to say, the, let's see, G36, Valkyrie, Autumn Vol, KE, the fifth episode for the 27th chapter for the Exploring the Arsenal series featuring me, Agent Psycho, aka Toast Number 98, and we're going to be kicking off with the G36C, the NX Rare variant of the G36 family in Combat Arms. So let's get started on the nitty-gritty nitty stats of the G36C. So the st stat wise, the only difference that the uh, G36C features over the original G36E variant is its insane boost to portability. Um, portability, just like how the KE increased the original G36E's uh, portability from uh, 57 to 63, and Autumn Valkyrie took it two points higher uh, from 63 to uh, 65, I, I want to say, yeah, 65. The G36C takes that three points higher at 68 portability, so this effectively makes the G36C one of the fastest assault rifles in combat arms, up there with, um, obviously, um, or not obviously, but with up there with like the AT22, which I think is one of the fastest um, assault rifles at the, uh, as well. It's very, very fast. It's very, very lightweight, and it's definitely suited towards a a rusher of heavy, heavy rusher playstyle. And the G36C, fortunately enough its mechanics will do work towards a kind of a rusher style of uh, kind of play in combat arms and how that is we'll get to that in just a second so just like the just like how the g36 ke is different over a different fundamentally different from the g36c or the g36e not the c variant but the e variant uh the g36c is more uh, more similar to the g36 ke than it is towards the uh, g36e what I mean by that is that the recoil spread, the mechanics of the recoil uh, perform similarly from the uh, KE to the C variants. They 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 tend to um, perform on pretty much pretty much the same, if not a little bit differently, um, in terms of their recoil. And um, the G36C does have does share the same characteristic of the G36KE, where in that it's better at close range, but at long range, it's not as good because first of all, uh, the G36C does not have its integrated, uh, does not have the uh, regular integrated scope that the G36E Valkyrie, uh, Autumn Valkyrie, and the KE variants all have. Um, the G36C just has the normal top rail, so you can have your choice of iTech or ACOG scopes, but you can't you can't have that uh, that nice G36E scope anymore, which I kind of wish that you could uh, put it back on, but. I mean, what can you do? So that's that should co uh, effectively cover the recoil. Uh, because the re because the G thirty six C does not have a uh, does not have the integrated scope that the other air variants do have. Um, you're gonna find that the recoil pattern is going to be, or the recoil itself is going to be a little bit de-amplified, if that makes any sense. But it's still going to take after the KE's recoil uh, recoil spread and pattern, what have you. Um, it's just that you're gonna have to deal with deal with it on an ACOG zoom level, not a not a sniper scope zoom level. Moving on to the all the other trivia stuff, the G36C mechanically speaking and performance wise does perform identically to the G36KE. What I mean by that is that the sprint drawbacks, sprint draw speed, um, center speed, reload speed, they're all pretty similar to the KE. Some of them are exactly identical, like the draw animation, the sprint animation, um, the reload. The reload animation is slightly different uh, on the G36C, but it, the overall speed itself is pretty much identical, if not off, by like milliseconds so I don't think there's that's something you should fret about uh, fire modes it only comes with one fire mode and that's fully automatic only and it's luck it's been some time since I've used the G36C, uh, but I did use it extensively before. But I can tell you right off the bat that the G36C doesn't really isn't really lucky for me anyway. Um, I don't know. I don't remember getting lots of headshots with it, so I'm gonna have to say the luck is kind of low on the low side for the G36C. But who knows? Maybe you can put out some better luck with it than I can. Ammo capacity is at a standard 30 rounds in magazine and 90 in reserve, so nothing too special there. Attachment options, once again, because the G36C does not have the integrated scope that the G36E variants have, um, and the KE has, G36C you can apply either ACOG or ITEC scope, your choice. Uh, but I would, I would, like I said before, I would kind of like it if the G36C did get its or uh, get the E scope attached onto it again. But I mean, what can you do? Next one's probably never going to do that. So we might as well deal with it. Anyways, 
for the uh, key physical characteristics. Um, oh, well, did I, go, did I just skip over to attachment option threat? I don't remember. Anyways, the key physical characteristics. So just like how the KE variant had a much shorter barrel in terms of like just physical look over the G36E, uh, e, the G36C has even has an even shorter barrel. So in real life, uh, it's real life counterpart. The G36C is meant to be a special forces or special ops uh, anti-terrorism weapon. And um, because anti-terrorism missions tend to be in very urban areas where um, it's not like wide open and you can't really swing a gun around, um, a shorter barrel is very, very prudent, and that's what the G36C is meant for meant uh, to do. The G36C does have a very, very short barrel, and it's got that uh, foldable stock if you really need to uh, cut down on overall length, and um, that's what the G36C is meant to do. And with that really short barrel, uh, special forces uh, or special ops uh, people or guys, soldiers, what have you, can really maneuver their, uh, their weapons around and... Um, it, it's pretty much in real life as good as a submachine gun just like your mp5 or something like that because of its very very short uh, barrel but it's still offering the same kind of firepower that an assault rifle have that a, a submachine gun might lack so that's a little bit of in real life trivia for you guys props to uh, h and k for making such a good weapon hell yeah uh, muzzle noise. Muzzle noise is the same uh, as it is on the G36KE, so if you guys have used the KE variant, the G36C will sound exactly the same. The fire team worthy. Um, I haven't really used the G36C in my experience anyway in fire team, but I would expect that it's pretty good. I've tried the G36KE in fire team, it's not too bad, so uh, if you guys want to rock that G36C in fire team, then go ahead by all means. Quarantine worthy. It's much better better than its other variants because of its insanely high portability excuse me i had to do a little burp there um if you must bring an assault rifle to quarantine for whatever freaking reason which i don't understand myself but if you absolutely must bring an assault rifle to quarantine the g36c is one of the best choices to bring because it's got very very high portability at 68 portability you just can't go wrong with it that's that's almost that's near that's nearly as high as you can go in terms of assault rifle portability is concerned so there you go very very good for quarantine compared to other assault rifles especially like the g36e so for my frank personal opinions, well, from what I can remember, uh, you from my back in the days when I actually had the G36C and I was using it for a time, is that it's a very solid uh, weapon. It's a very, it feels a little bit stronger than a G36E, but that's probably only because of the fact that it was much better in close quarters combat and middle range combat than the G36E was. Um, like I have probably have mentioned before, the G36E's uh, main forte or forte in Italian. Um, is in very long range in long range assault rifle um, engagements whereas the G36C and the KE are best up close and more CQC and middle range combat engagements and the G36C is that's what it's meant to do in real both in real life and in combat arms so in order to use the G36C's um, or in order to use it to its full potential I really suggest you guys um, slap on an iTech scope and go uh, go um, super super CQC close quarters combat on your enemy because uh, although because the G36C does not have the uh, far range uh, sniper scope that the E and the KE variants have um, you're you're not going to do as well uh, with the G36C at long range even though the G36C does have the same 90 accuracy as shared by all all other um, G36 variants except for one of them which we'll get to in the next video so yeah in order to use this to its full potential stick to CQC in middle range combat and you should be golden because whenever whenever I did that and not tried going for headshots at long range across Snow Valley I really raped up shit anyways guys thanks for watching this has been the G36C review and I will catch y'all later in the next and third to last uh, review on the G36 uh, G36 family. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.
Town start. Team wins.